Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany and today I will be showing you a stretching tutorial. These are stretches that I have done from my 100 day stretching experiment. If you haven't seen that, I have the link above or below. And uh, basically these stretches are designed to help you grow taller and to help you slim down on those fat troubled areas, especially, you know, the arms, the thighs, the waist. And you know, based on my results, stretching does help you lean out. Like not so dramatically, but you could see the difference. Of course, everyone's bodies are designed differently. So if you don't see the results that I have had, you know, don't freak out. The key is really to stay persistent. And what that means is you will have to stretch for 10 minutes every day and hold each stretch for at least 30 seconds because 30 seconds is how long it takes to really elongate your muscle fibers. So yeah, without further ado, let's get stretching. So the first stretch is something I would call upward dog. I made this term completely up because it resembled the yoga pose downward dog except that you would place your hands, palms out against the wall slightly above your head and just lean your whole body forward until you feel your stomach sinking into the ground. And here you should feel a little bit of resistance in your chest and your shoulders. And don't push it too hard, just enough so that you really feel that stretch. So the next stretch is sky rise. It's pretty self-explanatory because all you have to do is interlink your hands together and reach for the sky, like literally. And then if you want it more challenging, you could tiptoe. This will lengthen your whole entire body even more. Um, this might be a little bit hard at first if you're beginning. So, you know, it takes practice. Don't worry. If you don't find it comfortable, you could always sink your heels back onto the ground and just hold that stretch for a little bit longer. The next stretch is something you're probably familiar with in school. It's called the standing thigh stretch. And here you would just take one hand onto one foot and pull your leg all the way back until your heel touches your butt, at least close to it. And one thing I want to know here is that, you know, instead of just standing there and holding your leg back, try to take your leg and push it against your hand while your hand is trying to push back against your leg. So kind of like two forces pushing onto each other. That way you have more resistance. Move on to the next leg. And again, push your, your leg against your hand so you could feel that tension in your quads. And if you like, you could also hold your foot with two hands to stabilize yourself. Um, you know, it takes great practice to balance. So once you get used to it, it will be easier to do with one hand. The next stretch is close toe touch. This is where you're gonna put your feet together, lean your whole body forward, and root your arms against the ground and just bend forward looking down. You should really feel this in the hamstrings. It should feel really good. Make sure it's you're not overdoing it so you don't tear any muscles. Uh, that would be the worst thing possible, but just really keep it easy. So yeah, just keep holding it there. And once you're done, you wanna move your right leg, cross it over with your left. Again, root your arms down to the ground and bend forward. You could even take it a little bit further and try to move your stomach towards your thighs and bend your head downwards even further. And then move your left leg and cross it over with your right. And just, again, like the other exercises, root your arms and hold that stretch.
And once you're done with those stretches, you're going to now go back to the original position, interlink your arms together, and bend all the way forward until you are looking past your knees. It should give you more of a stretch in your shoulders and your arms. And afterwards, you can go ahead and drop your arms back onto the ground and just root them there. And this time you should feel like your head is getting closer to the ground, so that's a good sign if it is. The next stretch is a very basic lunge. It's pretty self-explanatory as well, so I don't know what else I could add here, but just to keep your bent leg angled in a very perpendicular form. And if you want it a little bit more challenging, you could take your straight leg and move it even further from your other leg. So basically giving you a wider lunge. So right when the 30 second mark hits, you're gonna drop your knee and just lay your foot flat against the ground. This one here is called the low lunge. And I believe it's supposed to feel it more into your glutes. So yeah, just hold that stretch there. So right afterwards, you're going to pull your body back, straightening the leg that was bent from before and bending the one that was straight I know that's confusing, but you could see it there from my uh, example. And then you're just gonna pull your body forward and try to keep your head close to your knees if possible and your stomach to your thighs if possible. And they call this the half split, which you could see it's kind of like a practice for the full split, but not really, but it's a good stretch. And once you're done with this set of stretches, uh, we're gonna repeat these on the other leg. So um, now I'm onto my left leg. So yes, again, we're gonna go back onto the basic lunge and just hold it there, making sure that your back leg is as straight as possible and your bent leg is at a nice 90 degree angle. And again, you're gonna put your knees onto the ground, your foot against the ground, and lean a little bit more forward. And just hold that stretch. And then once again, you're going to pull your body back and just straighten that other leg that was bent from before and lean forward, placing your head as close to your knees, your stomach to your thighs. If you like, you could even take a little break for a second or two and then try to pull forward once again to further that stretch. The next stretch is side reach. This is where you're going to take one hand, one arm, and just pull it over your head like a ballerina. And you know, sometimes I like to see myself as a ballerina or at least think like one because I feel that really helps with my flexibility mentality, if there is one. But um, yeah, it really helps. So just pretend you're like a ballerina and you're just really trying to reach over as far as you could. And once you're done with that, just repeat on the other side, take your other arm and pull it over your head. You should really feel this in your obliques now.
All right, guys, we're on to our last stretch. This is called the wide toe touch. Here, you're gonna put your legs apart and you're gonna pull your body forward, put your head down and root your arms against the ground and just hold it there. If you like, you can even put your arms and wrap them around your legs or place them on your foot and try to pull yourself even closer together to your legs, kind of like a clamp. And once you're done with that, just swing your body over to one leg and try to pull your head close to your knees and just hold it there. This hair should work out your obliques as well as your hamstrings. So a great combination stretch. Once the 30 seconds is up, you wanna swing your body again to the other side onto your right leg and just hold that stretch pulling your head close to your leg as possible. And once again, we're gonna go back to our original position and try to bend even further down, head closer to the ground, closer to your legs, and try to clamp your body closer together. I think ultimately the goal is to get your back aligned with your legs, like how straight it is. So yeah, that will take some time, but for now we will keep it simple like this. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you got a good stretch out of this or found this stretching tutorial very helpful, you know, please do me a favor and just hit that like button. And you know, if you'd like to see more of my videos, just hit subscribe. And um, yeah, I don't know what, what, what will be my next video next, but you know, until then, I'll see you in my next video.